Hi there, my name is Marcel Tusha. And I'm John Cummings, and we're both physical therapists here at Advent Health Ocala. We are here today to ask you the question, are you fit for golf? Like any sport, increasing your muscle strength and flexibility are key to improving your performance. Golfing is no different. You can't drive, chip, and putt if you're limited by pain, tightness, or weakness. What we want to do is take a look at your swing and review basic body mechanics in order to see if we can maximize your swing's potential. Maybe reduce or eliminate the cause of pain you experience while golfing and help reduce the chance of possible injury in the future. So today we're going to be looking at a local golfer here in Ocala. We're going to analyze his swing and potentially identify some areas that they may have weakness or loss of range of motion and we're going to address those areas to maximize our golf game. Please follow us as we head out to Golden Ocala Golf and Equestrian Club. See you there. And we're here today at Golden Ocala with one of the members here. We got John. John, how long have you been playing golf? 55 years. All right. And how often are you playing right now? Not too often. I got two kids that keep me busy. They swim uh, six days a week. All right. And have you had golf lessons before? Yes. Right. Many of them. And with the uh, golf pro here? Or in a, I've had uh, some lessons here and lessons uh, in South Florida and Pennsylvania all over the place. And have you ever had to work with a physical therapist for your golf? No, haven't had any uh, physical muscle problems uh, at all. All right. How about right now? Are you having any pain or have you had any surgeries or any injuries to, uh, that, that we need to be aware about? Yeah, no surgeries. I got a little uh, pinched nerve in my neck that I'm working on right now. It goes down into my arms and hands in the evenings. Uh, but it's, you know, I'm taking a little prednisone. Have, have you ever had, um, does that flare up at all when you're playing golf? No, huh? if I keep my hands down during the day, down, you know, around my waist, it, 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 it helps. Okay. You know, it so when you're well. top of your backswing or on your fall through, no, you, don't, you don't have no any problems. discomfort in your neck or, or your shoulders or your arms, any radiating pain, none no. of that. Okay. All right. Well, as a physical therapist, what we do is we take a look at you from head to toe. We look at basically all your body parts as far as your neck, head, shoulders, um, elbows, wrists, knees, hips, um, and look at how much movement there is and how much normal movement there should be for a golf swing. We've tried to put it all together and try to optimize your golf swing potential by getting you to move pain-free, uh, getting you to move as free as possible with nice long range, um, and also with a lot of strength as well. We want to look at that as well, put it all together for you. So that's what we would do as physical therapists. We could definitely help you uh, manage better self-manage those uh, ailments that you're complaining about the the pinched nerve in your neck and the radiant pain um, so they don't flare up when you're playing golf but also maybe there could be a potential why potentially your golf swing and posture and those things could be limited as well so we're going to look at you take some golf shots here today go ahead right. and address the ball there john all right as you can see here from this point of view he's got yep he's got he's got good alignment let's go ahead and let's go ahead and john take a swing at that ball Go ahead, take another shot. Okay. Great shot there, John. So what we, what we would do as physical therapists is we wouldn't necessarily want to correct his swing or, or give him any advice on his swing. That's, more, that's going to be more of the work of a golf pro who's going to be working on his swing mechanics. What we're going to do as physical therapists, we're going to address some areas of his body, such as what we see already. So go ahead and line up, John. Uh, I'm going to show you guys here what I'm talking about. In his upper spine, he's got what we call thoracic kyphosis. It's the rounding of the upper spine. When you round your upper back, what that does is that limits your ability for your shoulders to come up and, and get, uh, get as much motion as possible. So he's going to be a little bit restricted in his, up, in his backswing and his follow-through at, at the end there. Uh, so John, go ahead and line up again. I want to show the viewers here what we're talking about. Okay, and don't hit the ball. Just yeah, go ahead and set your club down so we can just see. As you can see here, we see the roundness right here from coming from the top of his thoracic spine and all the way down to T12. This is what we call T1 to T12. He's rounded right here. His shoulder blade right here, left shoulder blade and right shoulder blade, they are rounded out. What we want to do is we want to try to bring those back in a little bit and get this side of his, of, uh, his, his, get this a little bit stronger. So what we're gonna do is do some strengthening exercises for John here on the back. Uh, and then for the front here, because he's setting himself up in a rounded posture like that, he's basically tightening up his pecs. So we wanna stretch out his pecs. Some of his neck muscles could also be potentially tight as well. Uh, so what we would do is we would basically get him in a treatment table, lay him down and analyze some of the, some of the movement in, in each of those segments of his body. And now we're gonna take a look at John's 
rotation at his shoulder, see if he's got optimal rotation at his shoulder. John, in standing here, what I want you to do is I want you to just relax your arm. I'm going to bring your shoulder to about this level, and I want you to rotate your arm all the way back as far as you can go. As you can see right there, John has brought his hand, his wrist, past his ear, ear line right there. So I want to see if it's behind his ear. He gets behind his ear. That's a good thing. I want to see if he can replicate that in a golfer's posture because he's not going to hit a golf ball standing up. So John, go ahead and get into a golfer's posture. Pretend you got like a six iron on your hand. And now I'm going to grab your arm again. I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to have you rotate as far back as you can go. As far back as you can go and stay right there. Is that about as far back as you yep. can go, right? Yes, sir. What do you feel there, John? A little tension in the, little, uh, yeah. Right a little here, tension? Right under the arm, yeah. Put it down. Relax. Did you feel that tension when you were standing up? Not really. Not really. So what's, what you're doing then when you are golfing is that when you're getting into your golfer's posture, most likely you're not going as far back as you did when you were standing up. So you have what we call here a little bit of restriction, most likely due to because gravity is pulling down his shoulder blades here. He's a little bit weaker in this upper half of his body. So when we get him standing, he's a little bit more erect. So his shoulder blades are in a little bit better position. We want to replicate that in a golfer's posture. So what we're going to do, John, go ahead and get into a golfer's posture here. What I want you to do now is squeeze your shoulder blades. You feel my hand back there a couple mm -hmm. times, a couple times, squeeze and relax. And one more time, squeeze and relax. So that's one exercise we're going to do with you to try to work on getting you in better alignment posture. What that's going to do, John, is going to have you open up a little bit more. When you get to the top of your backswing, you're going to be able to get a little bit further back and hopefully minimize that feeling that you had of feeling a little tight and a little restricted there because that can be causing some problems down the road too with potentially some of the neck issues that you're having and the pinched nerve and the restrictions in your shoulder. All right, John, so I just want to run you through a real quick assessment. Uh, typically in the clinic, we'll go through a lot more thorough assessment, but since we're out here on the course, uh, I just want to kind of do a basic screen. So John, first thing I need you to do, I want you to look all the way up. All right, I want you to look all the way down. Okay, back to normal. Turn your head all the way left and turn your head all the way right. Good, then back to normal. Any pain with any of those movements? A little bit of my right side of my neck, or left side of my neck. When you turn to the left? Yeah, when I turn to okay. the left. Okay. Yeah. Now go ahead and take your arms and bring them all the way up over your head. Perfect. Go ahead and now bring them down and behind your back. Turn around. Great. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and turn back around towards us. Next thing I want you to do is I want your hand all the way down your thighs, keeping your knees straight. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, got a little tightness in those hamstrings. Go ahead and stand back up for me now. And go ahead and arch back. Any pain in either of those? No. Okay. Next, give yourself a hug and I want you to twist one way. Great. Go ahead and twist the other way now for me. Perfect. No pain with those also, correct? No. Okay. I want you to ne next is uh, with a little bit wider base, slightly wider. Good. I want you to take it and go into a deep squat looking up at the same time if you can. Okay. Then back up. Perfect. Go ahead and bring your legs back together. I want you to stand in just one leg for me. Try to keep your balance best you can. Okay. Now try switching legs. Do the left one best you can. Okay. All right. Now I want you to try one more thing. I want you to stand with one foot in front of the other, a little bit of distance between your feet, and just try to keep your balance there as well. Good. And just switch your feet. Great. Okay, I just want to run you through a little bit of a strength assessment now. If you can come over here, just kind of okay. lean up against that for me. All right, first I'm going to start with your arms. I want you to hold your arms just like this. I want you to push in as hard as you can. Great. Perfect strength. Now I want you to push out for me as hard as you can. Okay, a little bit weaker on that. Give me a push like you're punching forward. Great. Go ahead and pull backwards for me now. Okay, good. Great. Push forward. Great, pull back. Perfect, perfect. Now with your legs, I want you to take this knee and lift it up into my hand and hold it there. Hold it, good. Do this one, hold it there. Great. Now push both knees out as hard as you can. Excellent, good. Can you straighten this knee out for me? Hold it right there, hold it there, hold it there. Great. Now bend your knee down for me. Hard. Excellent, great strength. Straighten this one, hold, good. Now bend it down for me. Excellent. Perfect strength. Per perfect. Obviously a little bit of weakness in those uh, shoulder One external way, rotators. Yes. That's going to play into his upper back uh, like we had previously mentioned when we 
did a little bit of a golf assessment with Marcid. So here we are back in the clinic now after being out on the golf course with our local golfer, John, today. Unfortunately, John's not able to be here, but I'm going to utilize Marcid in the place of John for the sake of our demonstration here. So there were two other things that I really wanted to assess with John out on the golf course today was in regards to his shoulder blade and how well it moves. So Marcid, if you wouldn't mind, would you please lay down on your side for me? Sure. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to know if, if John's shoulder blade was able to move uh, or, or if it was so-called locked up. Because a lot of times some tightness throughout that shoulder blade will not allow it to move, therefore it won't allow him to be able to get his shoulder back like Marcid was demonstrating on the course. So I'll want to get in and I'll kind of feel for that shoulder blade and how it moves around on his back. If there is a restriction, I'm going to have a hard time getting my fingers underneath his shoulder blade. But if he doesn't have a restriction, like in the case of Marcid, I'm able to get underneath that shoulder blade and maybe if I need to, stretch it just a little bit as well. But sometimes if someone's really tight, I'll need to spend a bit more time just really trying to work over that shoulder blade to get it loosened up so that we have a potential for that shoulder blade to move. The other thing I'd want to address is if he has any pec tightness. So Marcin, could you lay on your back, please? Right on the edge of the table. All right, so in this position here, I'm able to get his arm off the edge. And as I'm assessing his pecs, I should be able to get my hand on the front of his shoulder and press down and get some nice mobility and nice movement. For someone who has a really tight pec muscle, as I push down, I'm not going to get much give at all. But in Marcid's case, he has a really nice, nice translation backwards here on that shoulder. He gets nice movement and that pec feels re really loose. So the one other thing I wanted to address out on the course with John was his weakness that we identified when we tested his external rotators. Marcid, would you mind sitting up, please? Sure. So as I pressed on John's arms today, as he was trying to go out and I resisted him, I was able to kind of break his resistance. So that identified a posterior shoulder weakness and even a, sh a little bit of a shoulder blade weakness. So something I would give him would probably be some rowing exercises with some resistance, as well as even some band exercises working on external rotation. Pretty simple exercises, but definitely uh, help to fix that problem with that weakness. Thank you, John. If you like what you saw today, please like, comment, or share the video. Also, if you'd like to be assessed by us, please reach out to us and our contact information is listed below. Thank you all for joining us. We hope to see you soon and hope we can maximize your golf game as soon as possible.